Welcome to Maths with Mr. S. In this video, we're going to count in multiples of 6, 7, 9, 25 and 1000. Let's get stuck in. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the multiples of 6, multiples of 7 and multiples of 9 in our 100 grid. So I'm going to allocate the color red to the sixes. Now, multiples are just simply the times tables for a number. So if I do one times six, the first multiple of six is six. The second multiple of six, just two times six is 12. So it's any number that is in the six times tables that we're going to be looking for. Multiples of six, just six times tables or divisible by six. So if you're unsure, just count up, but the first one's a nice easy one at six. But if you don't know, just count six each time as you go down the grid, and then we're going to look for patterns. So one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. I'm going to just go through the first few quickly, but again, if you're unsure, just count in your sixes and you'll be able to identify these. So then I've got my uh, 30, 36, 42, 48, and I'm already starting to see a pattern. If you look, this goes diagonally down, goes across two, down one, cross two, down one, cross two, down one, cross two. So there's a pattern that's going to help us. Also, as you go down the columns, you notice that they're all even. And it goes multiple of six, skip two, multiple of six. Hmm. And then does it skip two? I'll just continue on a couple more. 54. And then we've got our 60. And then 66. Yeah. Multiple of six, skip two, multiple of six, skip two. So that's going to help us be able to identify them a lot quicker. So I'm going to do the diagonal way because it goes 6, 18, 30, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 42, 54, 66, 78 because it's going across 2, down 1, across 2, down 1. We've got our 90. And then I'm going to skip down 2 and then get the next one, 72, across 2, down 1. Cross two down one and then I've identified all my six times tables which didn't take long and you notice the side diagonal that it goes it goes across the right two and down one which is going to help us if you ever get a 100 grid to actually figure out and get all the times tables for six okay you've also got then skip two and then multiple of six so now we're going to do multiples of seven do that with the blue so seven times tables, first multiple of seven, simply seven, one times seven. Count down on sevens if you're not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Look, there's a bit of a pattern going on here. So it goes across three. One, two, three, down one, cross three, down one. Hmm. Then 28. Is it across three, down one? One, two, three, three, five. Yes, it is. So this is going to be useful. Across three, down one. Then find my 49, and then I've got my 56, cross 3, down 1, cross 3, down 1. That's only a cross 2, so that's not going to work. So it'll be the next number on the line. So I've got 63, 70, and then cross 3, down 1. Nice, cross 3, down 1, then 91, and then the final one we've got is 98. So a lot of patterns going on. We've got my 6s going this way, 7s going this way, now the 9s. Let's look for the nines. So multiples of nines. Remember, just one times one. Count up with nines. Well, we've got nine. Eighteen. Count on the nines. Twenty-seven. And you should start to see very quickly the pattern with the nines. It's literally diagonally down all the way from one side of the 100 grid to the other. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the final two, the 90 and the 99. Again, they even go diagonally. So it's diagonal perfectly all the way down. There's a lot going on here, pattern-wise, with the sixes, you've got to go on this way, sevens, diagonally this way, nines, perfectly going down. So we've identified all the multiples of six, all the multiples of seven, all the multiples of nine. Now we're going to look at our grid, odd and even. So with the sixes, all the red ones, they all end in two, four, or six, and eight, and zero. So they're all even. So I know that any even number potentially could be a multiple of six. So that's useful. So I can rule out any odd number. So if I've got 83, not a multiple of six, because it's not even. So then let's look at multiples of seven. Now, are they odd or are they even? All right, well, there's seven, uh, sort of, and in ones, and in two, 
then the three, all these blue ones. And so the end and different. So it could be odd or even. So that is a bit annoying. Or even. Now let's look at the multiples of nine. Are they odd or even? So that one's odd, even. Odd, right, right, again, odd or even. So that's not going to help us loads. So we've got even for six, odd and even for seven, and then we've got odd and even for nine. Now digits totals. What this means is we're going to add together the digits in the multiples and see what they get. So the first multiple of six is just six. So if I add together all of them, digits just make six. Then one plus two gives me three. Then I'll go 18. One plus eight is nine. Okay, hold on. I'm sort of seeing some sort of a pattern. Then I've got 24. Two plus four is six. Uh, three for three plus zero. Hmm. And three plus six is nine. And four plus two again is six. Four plus eight, different one, but 12. Okay. What do I notice about all these numbers? Basically, all the numbers of the answers of multiple of six, if you add together their digit total, they give you a multiple of three, because three, six, nine, 12. So they're all multiples of three. Hmm. That's really useful. Because if I have the number, say, 108, and I want to know if it's a multiple of six, all I need to do is I need to add together the digits in the number. So one plus zero plus eight is nine. A nine is in the, a multiple of three. It's a multiples of three. And also it has to be even. So if it's even and you add together the digits totals and it gives you a multiple of three, then you know it's also a multiple of six. So that's really helpful for us when we're trying to find multiples of six. Because we just add together the digits. Do they add to make a multiple of three? Yes, they do. And is it even? Yes, it is. Okay, it's a multiple of six. So that's really, really useful whenever you're actually working this out. So let's look at some of the digit totals for seven. So go seven, five, uh, what else? Three. Mm, seven five three ten mm, i'm not really seeing anything they're not multiples then they don't descend or ascend in a certain order um we've got eight next three plus five we've got six it's just all random so there's no real pattern there which is a bit annoying but it's useful that we find this one out no i did you totals for the nines well first one it's nine then one plus eight. Oh, well that's nine Two plus seven, you guessed it, nine. Three plus six, nine. Four plus five, nine. Five plus four. So they're always nine, okay? From the uh, one times table, so the first one, up until 10 times nine. When it gets to 11, you get 99, so they had to make 18. But for these, you'll know it's a multiple of nine if the digits add together to make nine. So that's useful. And then let's see if we can find any patterns now for each of these. So the pattern we notice diagonally goes across two. So it goes right two. Then down one. Okay. So that is a really useful pattern. Or if we're going down, we go down one, two, three. So down three as well is another pattern. So we've got sort of two patterns for the six times tables on the 100 grid, which is helpful. Now, any patterns for multiples of sevens? Yeah, we noticed that one where it goes diagonally backwards. So it goes left, one, two, three, and down one. So put my left, three, and then down one. So that is really helpful and useful for us as well. Okay. Now, also another pattern on this that I haven't mentioned. It goes odd, then even. Odd, even. Odd, even. Odd, even. Odd, even. So it goes alternate odds and evens. So odd, then even. And so on. Odd, even. Odd, even. All the way down. So there's another 
thing that we've spotted. Now with the nine times tables, any patterns? Well, this is a beautiful one. It just goes diagonally down backwards. So it's like left one, down one, which is super easy to follow. Just nine, straight the way down. Now with this one, we've got, does it go odd and even? Let's see, so odd, even, odd, Okay, and it's another odd even, which is helpful. So there's an odd one, then there's an even one, and so on, and so on. It goes odd even, odd even. Now, what links to other times tables is there's the six? Well, if you notice the six times tables is all basically multiples of three. It's half the multiples of three, because three is in the six times tables as well. So if we put it down here, it's the even of the three times tables, multiples of three. And then you could have here, it's even the even as well of the nine times tables. Look, 18, 36, 54, 72. So it's the even of the nine times tables as well. So that's really helpful. The link between the sixes, the nines and the three times tables is good. Now, if you look at the sevens, is there any link between the sevens and another times table. <sighs> Not really, you'd be pushing it to say there was. They were very much out on their own. And this is why the seven times tables can be tricky because they don't link with any of the other times tables well. So there's no obvious link. So put that in there. Now, if you do spot one, do put it in. We could put it in the comments, but I can't see of anything. So nine times tables. Let's see if there's any obvious links. We've already talked about it. Again, it's linked to the three times tables. Every number that's in the nine times tables is also in the three times tables. So it's linked to the three times tables. And then it's also linked to the six times tables like we talked about. It's the evens are in the six times tables. So there's loads going on. And there are multiples of sixes, multiples of sevens, multiples of nines. And using a hundred grid really helps us to identify what they are. Odds or evens. And then as you go through, you can pick out digit totals patterns. And the most important one, I would say, is probably the digit totals for six. Okay. So if we look at it and you're looking, you're like, well, 84. Is that a multiple of six? Oh, I'm not sure. Well, all you need to do, first off, it needs to be even even so we've got a chance here okay so is it even tick now do the digits add up to a multiple of three well eight plus four gives me 12. Oh, ho, ho, it is a multiple of three so that means i know 84 is going to be a multiple of six so if it's even and the digits add up to make a total which is a multiple of three you have got a multiple of six all right and then with the nine times tables knowing all of these diagonally is brilliant and also the pattern with the seven helps so the hundred grid loads going on now what we're going to look at is we're going to look at counting up in 25s so first off we looked at six sevens and nines now 25 now 25 seem like they're tricky but they follow a very similar pattern all the way so we'll look at the first one these are all multiples of 25 so this is like one times 25, 2 times 25, 3 times 25, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And knowing up to 8 or even up to 4 is really helpful. So it goes 25, 50, 75, and then it goes 100. Then what happens is these three numbers simply repeat themselves in the 100. So the 100 stays the same, but then it's going to be 125. Then it's going to be 150 then it's going to be 175. So if you see a number that ends in 00, 25, 50, or 75, it's a multiple of 25. Okay, and counting up and down in these numbers is very straightforward. So it goes 0, 25, 50, 75, 100, 00, because we don't have any 25s on top of that. Then 125, 150, 175, the next one would be 200 and so on. So let's continue this on. If you know these first four multiples, 
then it makes the rest easy. So 275, well, 275 takes me to the next 100, which will be 300. Then it starts again, 325, 350, 375. Those two digits, the tens and the units, to so start again, and then we've got our 400. Let's try it with this one, 350, 375. After that, it takes us to the next 100. That starts again, 425, 450. 475 very straightforward and if you learn these first four 25 50 75 100 it's so useful now the last one here this one's a bit of a sneaky one because what's actually happening we've been given the two numbers to see what is happening in the sequence and it's actually getting smaller so instead of going 100 125 150 going up the way 00 25 50 175 we're going back the way so we'll go 75 50 25 0 70, zero, zero, 75, 50, 25, zero, zero. And it just continues on. So we're going backwards this time. So I'm going to take away 25, which will take me down to 3,200. Then I'm going back another 25. So I'm here, I'm going to 75. So three, one, seven, five. Then take away another 25, three, one, five, zero. Then three, one, two, five, you're getting it. And then we've got the last one, three, one, zero, zero. So 25s, multiples of 25s I love because they are very straightforward. You're simply going up 25, 50, 75, 100. And the, that is the basics of everything that you need to know. And then if you can remember going up in those, then it's going to help you with everything, even if you're going backwards. Now we're going to look at our multiples of 1,000. So 1,000 effectively just means that the 1,000 column in our place value, so we've got our units, tens, hundreds and then thousands is the only one that's going to change so one thousand two thousand will go up one three thousand so just like counting except you're going up in thousands so four thousand five thousand six thousand super simple now we're at nine thousand here well, what's after nine well ten thousand and you need those three zeros to say that they're in the thousands some people use a comma you don't have to. Sometimes it can be helpful because then you can see you've got your units, tens, hundreds. Now this part is the thousands. 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000. Okay. All that's happening is the thousands is getting bigger by one each time. Now 8,980. Now, this one's 5,980, so we're going backwards, we're going down. So I need to look at both the numbers. It isn't always going up. So if I reduce the 8,000 by 1, go 7,000. That was easy. But the rest stay the same because the thousands is the one that's changing. Then 6,980, 5,000, and finally 4,980. So the last one here. This looks like it'll be tricky. So we've got 86,627. It's taken up to 90,000. 627 so just identify the thousands so our units tens hundreds a thousands okay well this is going to get bigger if we're going up in a thousand so it'll be 87,000 because it's going up 627 then we'll go another thousand to seven will get bigger 88,627 89,627 and then 89,000 takes us up to the 90,000. So counting in the thousands is very, very straightforward. So looking through all of these are multiples of six, seven, and nine. There's loads that can help you remember that little trick with the multiples of six. Do the digits add up to make a multiple of three and are they even? And also being able to place them on your 100 grid. Adding up in 25s or taking away in 25s. Remember, 25, 50, 75, 100. That is the key. And then your thousands, just remember, the thousands column just gets either bigger if you're going up or smaller if you're going down the way. Thank you for watching. And don't forget the free worksheet and answers in the description. Or go to www.mathwithmrs.com.